attendance that you all people are live so that I can start the today's session. Today basically we are going to discuss about international organizations, Antarashtriya Sansthan. So under this international organizations we have the bodies like WTO, WHO, World Economic Forum, World Intellectual Properties and International Labour Organization. Then we have United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. So we have multiple international organizations. Now before I start this topic I must make you people one thing clear. Okay, since you are going for the RRB NTPC, so you on, only need to have the basic information regarding these international organizations. The basic information basically mean in this particular section is that okay, where is this international organization's headquarter and who is the present head or the secretary general, director general or the president, such type of things. Only these things you want to know. You need to know. You don't have to go into the deep okay, where was, by which charter they have been formed, in which conference they have been formed. And where are the conferences that were held that led to the formation of these institutions. So in all these mess you don't have to go. You simply have to understand the factors like okay, where it has, uh, when it was established, where is the headquarter and who is the head. Only these three things we require to know. So this is completely a factual topic. So class don't feel it like it's a boring topic. Just be energetic as I am and just enjoy the session. Let's start. First of all guys we have the WTO. This is the World Trade Organizations. This WTO basically was formed on 1st January 1995 and remember one thing, India was the founding member of this organization. Remember one thing, before WTO, there was an organization called GATT, which means General Agreement on Trade and Tariff. WTO before it came into existence previously known as General Agreement on Trade and Tariff. This was called as GATT. So this GATT was dissolved you can say on 1st January 1995. to establish World Trade Organization that is called as the WTO. Remember, the headquarter of WTO is at Geneva, which is in Switzerland and its present head or chief of WTO is Roberto Azevedo. Roberto Azevedo. This is the he is the head of the which one WTO. Now next important organization is which one WHO. Next is WHO. This is World Health Organization. This is headquartered at Geneva, Switzerland and It was founded on 7th April 1948 and the Director General WHO is Margaret Chan. Margaret Chen. He is the, she is the Director General of the WHO. Margaret Chen. Don't forget the name. Next is, next important organization is WEF. This is World Economic Forum. This is the World Economic Forum, WEF. This was founded in
1971 World Economic Forum and it is headquartered at Geneva which is the part of Switzerland and its head or we can say chief of World Economic Forum is Klaus Squab. Klaus K L A U S Klaus Squab. He is the head of the World Economic Forum. Then we have next one WIPO. This is the World Intellectual Property. Organization. This is the World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO. Remember one thing, this particular organization was founded on 14th July 1967. So, this was founded on 14th July 1967. Its objective is basically to provide and protect original writings of novelist discoveries of scientist composition of music director basically when it comes to intellectual property you simply understand thing understand one thing when there is something which has been created by an individual of his own intellectual level or of his own knowledge of his own we can say literacy level suppose there is a scientist who has made some inventions regarding the discovery of or some inventions regarding the preparation of a medicine and that medicine that composition is unique in the world and so if he wants that the same composition can be patented with him that can be kept with him and it should not be copied by someone else for that we have a organizations called wipo which give patents to the inventions patents to the discoveries patents to the novels which can be reprinted and they can be circulated around the country so the a work which has been uh, done by any individual it is a his creation and that creation should not be replicated that creation should not be uh, copied without his or her accent if if suppose i have written something and if it is unique in the world if it is a it is going to be a pathfinder for millions of the people then i must be asked i must be informed that the same composition is being copied by some other one that is called the intellectual property so intellectual properties basically comprises of novels discoveries writings okay, then we have composition of music lyricists these all things are called as the composition these are called intellectual properties and this wipo is basically headquartered it's headquartered at where this is also at the Geneva. This is also at Geneva, which is in Switzerland. This is also at the same place, Geneva, Switzerland. And remember, the head the, the head of the WIPO, the chief of WIPO. We can say head or chief of World and Intellectual Property Organization is which one? Francis Geary. Francis Geary. Now come to the next organization. Next is the which one? ILO. ILO. This is International Labor Organization. This is one of the most famous organization under the United Nations. And this ILO was founded in 1990, where India was under the British rule. And this 1990 is also known in the Indian history. For the which one? Montague Chelmsford report. This is headquartered at again the same place, Geneva, Switzerland. And it is headed by Guy Rider, G U I R Y D R. Guy Rider is the chief of the International Labour Organization. And remember one thing: this ILO has been formed. This ILO has been established with an objective that each and every country in this world who are the members of the united nations they should implement they should follow an international labor law and should not and should protect the labor class from the exploitation in the hands of the capitalist class or the industrialist class so in order to protect the you can say laborers of this world in any region or any corner of the world the international organizations will uh, always works and gu keeps guiding the member nations of the united nations to maintain a uniformity uniformity in the labor law so that the rights of the labor should not get exploited it means their working hours should be fixed there should be equally paid the, the wages must be paid equally to the men and women workers taken up there should be a working environment and their work culture so all these things needs to be followed and all these things needs to be implemented at the right place by the international labor organization then comes the next important it's the uncatad 
we pronounce it UNCTAD. Ankara, this is United Nations Convention, United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. This is United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. United UN Conference on Trade and De United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. This is UNCATAD. Remember one thing, this UNCATAD is basically headquartered at the same place you will say Geneva, which is the part of Switzerland. And this was founded in the year 1964, UNCATAD. Founded. 1964 and the chief of the UNCATAD is you will say Mukish, Mukisa it's Mukisa Kitui Kitui Mukisa Mukisa Kitui is the head of the or chief of the UNCATAD then we have next one WMO WMO this is the World Meteorological Meteorological Organization. This is the World Meteorological Organization. This is WMO. And this was founded in the year 1950. Founded in the year 1950. And this is also headquartered at Geneva, Switzerland, World Meteorological Organization. And remember one thing, its head is Petteri Tala, Talas. Chief is Petteri Talas. He is the head of the World Meteorological Organization. This WMO, which is based in Geneva, Switzerland, founded in 1950, this basically gives the information, gives the, we can say, uh, data inputs about the climatic and weather changes that takes place sudden uh, we can say all of the sudden suppose we have cyclone warning system then we have earthquake warning system volcano warning system so this the world meteorological organization is basically working on that and they are trying to streamline all the countries to work towards development of such technologies so that we can have we can say early warning system in order to decrease the consequences or you can say in order to decrease the devastation that is caused due to the natural disaster so for in order to streamline all these things they are working under the world meteorological organization then we have the next one International Committee of the Red Cross. International Committee of the Red Cross. This is called as ICRC, International Committee of the Red Cross. This was founded in eighteen sixty three. Founded in 1863, and remember one thing: it is headquartered at Geneva, Switzerland. Headquartered at Geneva, Switzerland. It is headed by which of the individual you will say, Peter Morrill. Peter Morrill. This International Committee of the Red Cross. This has been basically formed. Actually, it promotes the serving of the humanity in the world. And they make the arrangement for the blood donation camps. You will say Red Cross societies are basically formed for the blood donation camps. And they uh, basically, you can say, create an awareness among the people that they should come out of their home and help the people who are really in need of the blood. So blood donation is one of the noble cause of humanity. And they should always come forward and do this particular thing just to save the lives of the millions. This is the basic motto, basic idea of the Indian International Committee of the Red Cross. It is called ICRC, International Committee of the Red Cross. Next is International Monetary Fund. Next is IMF. This is International Monetary Fund. Remember one thing. This particular organization was founded on 27 December 1945 by Bretton Woods conference after the end of World War II. Founded on 27 December 1945 by the Bretton Woods Conference after the end of World War II. Remember one thing, along with the IMF, 
we have the formation of organizations called World Bank. So, World Bank and this, you can say IMF, were basically founded in the same year 1945 by the Bretton Woods Conference. This is very important and very essential that you need to understand. Don't forget that. This is a very important fact regarding this particular thing. And remember one more thing. This international international monetary fund at present, they will ask you how many countries are the members of the international monetary fund. So, remember total members, total member countries, total member countries are 189 at present. And when it was founded, it founded in 1945, there were only 29, 29 members. So, founding members were 29. Founding members were 29 and the present member is how much? You can say 189. And remember one thing, the present, it's headquartered, it is headquartered at Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. This is the headquarter and the present managing director, MD of IMF or we can say the chief of the IMF is Kristalina Georgieva. Kristalina Georgieva. Previously, it was Christine Lagarde and she is from Bulgaria. She is from which country? You will understand she is from Bulgaria, Kristalin, Kristalina Georgieva. And the chief economist of the IMF, chief economist of IMF is Gita Gopinath from India. Don't forget this thing, this is very important. Got it, guys? This is the IMF. And what is the main function of the IMF? IMF always gives money to uh, loan to its member countries, or we can say provides loan to its member countries just in order to maintain the balance of payment. What is balance of payment? You will simply understand one thing. When the balance between the export and import gets negative, it means a country who is importing higher and exporting less, their trade are in deficit. So, in order to manage those trade deficit, they need to follow a balance of payment type sort of thing. So, in order to maintain the balance of payment, in order to fulfill the balance of payment, they used to lend the money. So, always remember one thing. IMF lends money to its member countries for short term at higher rate of interest to maintain BOP. And what is BOP? You will say balance of payment that is export and import balance. Balance of payment is export and import balance. This is done. This is about the IMF. Now we are coming to the next one. Next important thing is the World Bank. You see, this was also established in the this was basically founded in the July 1944. July 1940 by Bretton Woods Conference. And its objective is to provide aid or financial support. Its objective is to provide aid or financial support to member countries, developing economies in order to maintain competitive environment so that a competitive environment among all the economies of the world shall be maintained. So, what happened when World War II ended and when the in the World War II when the Axis power were defeated and the Allied powers got victorious then there was a fractured economy because the Allied powers were also were all, uh, have also suffered a lot of loss because their, their, their expenditure their spending in the war was very high. So, in order to we can say revamp the economy of all the Allied powers and in order to revive the economy of all those countries who suffered from the World War II basically this organization was 
created. Its only objective was to aid. Aid is the amount of money which is uh, given to some or some countries, but that is not refunded back. That is that, that is a help. That is a financial ease. That is a financial help. Suppose if a country is suffering from uh, natural disaster, if a suffering, if, if if a country is suffering from the war crisis, and if a country is suffering from poverty, uh, then in such cases, in order to build the infrastructure, in order to build the, we can say proper industrial se segments, the, the World Bank time to time gives the aid. So, the amount which is given in the form of aid by the World Bank, that amount is not refundable to the institution. But those amount which is given in the form of loan, that is a refundable, refundable thing. And World Bank is basically, what is World Bank? So, World Bank basically comprises of two organizations. One, it is called as the IDA, International Development Association. And second, it is called as the IBRD. So, International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. So, remember one thing. IDA, which is called as the International Development Associations and IBRD, which is International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. These two organizations combine together, combine together is called as Which one you will say World Bank? This is the basic thing. This is headquartered at Washington DC. This is headquartered at Washington DC and the Chief of World Bank is David Melpas. Don't forget his name. The Chief of the World Bank is David Melpas. Don't forget his name. Got it guys, this is the David Melpa, the chief of the World Bank. Then comes the next organization which is called as the UNO. This is United Nations organizations which we call as the UNO. It was founded on 24th October 1945. Just simply remember that just after the end of World War II. Remember one thing objective of UNO is to maintain peace around the world. to maintain peace around the world and second is to avoid any conflict among nations among nations or countries and it was the initiative of the you can say Franklin to Roosevelt who was the then president of the USA on his initiative, the United Nations organizations came into existence. Franklin D. Roosevelt. Remember his name? It was Franklin D. Roosevelt who really initiated or we can say who really uh, worked for the establishment of the United Nations or the UNO. It was his effort. Remember one thing? This United Nations organization is headquartered. Its headquarter is at New York, USA. And this headquarter is constructed on the you can say space or the premises donated by Rockefeller Foundation. The Secretary General of UNO is Antonio Guterres. Is Antonio Guterres. He is the Secretary General of the United Nations Organization. Antonio Guterres. Don't forget his name. He is very important personality. As far as the world is concerned, and he's from the uh, the name is Antonio Guterres. Remember this one. And he's from which country? You will say Poland. Sorry, he's from Portugal. He's from Portugal. Antonio Guterres. 
Remember one thing, this UNO has five important organizations under it. UNO has five important organization. First is, UNO has five important organizations. The first is, you can say, General Assembly. Second important organization, second important is the International Court of Justice. Third is the ECOSOC that is called Economic and Social Council. Fourth is the Security Council and fifth is the Trust Research Council. These are the five important organs or organizations under the UN United Nations. Remember one thing, in the UN Security Council, there are 15 members. It is permanent. And non permanent. Five are the permanent members and ten are the non permanent members. USA, UK, China, Russia, and France. They are the five permanent members. This is most important. And the ten mem permanent members uh, keep on changing after every two years. So each perma non permanent member is, we can say, not nominated is elected for a period of two years. Don't forget this, trust us a concept. And in this particular one thing, remember one thing, the ICJ, which is the part of the UNO, International Court of Justice, it is headquartered at The Hague, which is at the Netherlands. This is in the Netherlands. The Hague is the part of the Netherlands where is the where we have the headquarter of the International Court of Justice. Don't forget this organization ICJ that is the International Court of Justice. It is headquartered at the which place? The Hague, Netherlands. This is most important. Now come to the next one. Next important organization is the ADB. This is the Asian Development Bank and this Asian Development Bank was founded on 22nd August 1966. Founded on 22nd August 1966. Total member are 68 countries and out of this 68, 49 are Asian and Pacific region. Asian and Pacific region and 19 are from outside the Asian Pacific region. The headquarter of the organization is at Manila. It is at Manila and Manila is in Philippines. Manila is at is the Philippines and the chief of ADB. The question is the who is the he is a Japanese and he has decided to quit the uh, ADB in the January 2020. So he is likely to quit in the year January 2020 and he is the Japanese and his name is Takehiko Nakao. Take Hiko Nakao. He is from Japan, Asian Development Bank. Don't forget this one. Then we have AIIB. Next important organization is AIIB. This is Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. This is Asian Infrastructure. 
इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंक एशियन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एशियन बैंक दिस वॉज फाउंडेड ऑन फोर्थ अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन फाउंडेड ऑन फोर्थ अक्टूबर टू एंड दिस इज हेडक्वार्टर where beijing which is the part of china and remember the head of the asian infrastructure investment bank asian infrastructure investment bank is jin lukin is jin likun then we have another institution called as BRICS Development Bank, which is also known as it is BRICS Development Bank or the New Development Bank. Here, the word BRICS stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. And remember one thing: BRICS. As an acronym, acronym means the short form was first used in two thousand three by Jim O. Nil. He was an American economist who gave the abbreviation, who used the acronym acronym BRICS. That is Brazil, Russia, India, and China. This was used for the first time in the year two thousand three by Jim O. Nil. And BRICS developed. And when the first summit of the BRICS was held. first brick summit was held at yekaterinburg russia in 2009 and this organization came into existence and remember in the 2015 brics conference and remember one thing originally in this brick originally if we talk about originally then we have only three country only four countries were there originally four countries were there that is brazil russia india and china and south africa joined in 2010 this is important south africa joined this organization in 2010 and then this brick became the brics so this brick was joined by south africa in 2010 and the brick was nominated and it was renamed as BRIC as it became the BRICS. Don't forget it. Okay, now so BRICS became the BRICS in the year two thousand ten. In the year two thousand ten. Don't forget this. And when the two thousand fifteen summit BRICS conference was there, was held, then this BRICS member decided to form a BRICS development bank, and that BRICS development is now known as. New Development Bank. It was decided in the year which one, two thousand fifteen. Founded July two thousand fifteen. It is headquartered at Beijing, China, and its head is. K V Kamat. He is from India and is he was the former chief of Got it, guys. Now we are coming to the next one, next organization that is the which one UNESCO. Next organization is what guys? This is the UNESCO. UNESCO. What is UNESCO? This is United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. Scientific and
कल्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज यूनाइटेड नेशन एजुकेशनल साइंटिफिक एंड कल्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड दिस यूनेस्को वॉज बेसिकली फाउंडेड ऑन सिक्सटीन नवंबर नाइनटीन फोर्टी फाइव फाउंडेड ऑन सिक्सटींथ नवंबर नाइनटीन फोर्टी फाइव दिस इज द फर्स्ट वन नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट दिस यूनेस्को इज हेडक्वार्टर्ड एट पेरिस दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ फ्रांस एंड इट्स डायरेक्टर जनरल और वी कैन से चीफ इज इरीना बुकोवा इट इज इरीना बुकोवा दिस इज आईरीना यूनाइटेड नेशन एजुकेशनल साइंटिफिक एंड कल्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच इज हेडेड बाई आईरिया और इरिनिया बुकोफा इट्स नॉट आई ए आई आर आई एन आई ए इरिया बुकोफा नेक्स्ट इज ओपेक दिस इज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ petroleum exporting countries and this was founded on 30th september 1961 30th september 1961 second important thing is that this opec organization for oh i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry it was Nineteen sixty, and this is headquartered at. Its headquarters is Vienna, which is the capital of Austria. The OPEC is headquartered at Vienna, Austria. This is the first next important, you can say, information that you need to about the organization of petroleum exporting country. Remember one thing. Okay, this opec is an example of cartel system this is an example of cartel system cartel is basically the highest form of oligopoly in which few countries or few producer basically dominates the prices of the produced goods internationally and you know opec is a cartel in the world which dominates the prices of the crude oil just in order to maximize the profit they can and this is called as the which one cartel system so opec is what opec is basically organization of petroleum exporting countries this particular organization was founded on 30th september 1960 it is headquartered at vienna and it is a, it is an example of cartel system and cartel is what it's the highest form of oligopoly in which the group of producer or the group of companies basically dominates you can simply say they dominates and what they dominate they dominate on the prices of the produced goods so in the opec countries we have basically production of the crude oil and it is a group of how many member countries if the question comes ki who are the member how many member countries are there you will remember this is 12 how many countries are there 12 and the founding members are if it comes to founding members then we have countries like saudi arabia iraq iran kuwait and then we have venezuela they are the founding members of the countries of the opec and who is the chief of opec this is abdullah al badiri abdullah al badiri is the chief of the which one you will say opec and remember one thing this abdullah al badiri has now changed so the new chief you have to remember mohammed barkindo this is mohammed barkindo is the chief of the organization of petroleum exporting countries don't forget his name then comes next important organization which we call as from the asian part remember two one two important thing one is the sarc this is south asian associations south asian association south asian association for regional cooperation for regional cooperation south asian association for regional cooperation this organization was founded on 
8 8 december 1985 at dhaka bangladesh it is headquartered at kathmandu which is in nepal remember one thing it is a association of eight member asian countries and afghanistan was the last member to join sar he was the basically last member to join the which one sar so don't forget his name so if the question comes ki how many members are there in the sar you will say it's the eight member and which was the last member you can say to join the sar you will simply say one thing the last member to join the sar is the which one afghanistan and the headquarter is at kathmandu nepal we have the neighboring countries we have the india bangladesh pakistan sri lanka bhutan then we have afghanistan then we have myanmar these all countries are the member of which one you will simply say it's the sar then comes the next one we have asian nations we have the which one asian nations next important is the asian or the asian this is association of south east asian nations it was founded on 8 august 1967 total member is how much 10 founded on 8 august 1967 total member is how much you will say it's the 10 member and it is headquartered at jakarta indonesia jakarta indonesia we have myanmar thailand laos vietnam cambodia singapore brunei then we have papua new guinea then we have uh, indonesia and philippines these are the important countries who are the members of the asian and india is not the member of the asian nations only because of one concept that they are we are not geographically the part of southeast asian nations so we are not the member of asian but we have the, got the observer status among the asian nations what is the observer status we can attend the meeting we can give the suggestions but we don't have the right to vote so we are given the observer status in the asian nations only because and we are not the member only because because geographically we are the part of south asia we are not the part of southeast asia so we are not the part of the asians then we have another important organization at the international level which is ia ea this is very important this is international atomic energy associations international atomic energy associations or we can it's not so international atomic energy agency i'm so sorry it's the agency it's not the association this is which one agency international atomic energy agency we are talking about iaea iaea international atomic energy which one agency don't forget the name and this iaea was established or founded on 29 july 1957 founded on 29 july 1957 this is headquartered in vienna the capital of austria and remember its chief is yukia amano the chief of iaea is yukia amano so which one yukia amano don't forget his name and we have three sports organization one is the icc this is international cricket council and this international cricket council was founded on 15th june 1909 founded on 15th june 1909 and this is headquartered at dubai uae the headquarters is dubai 
यूएई नेक्स्ट इज एंड द क्वेश्चन कम्स की हु इज द सीईओ ऑफ द आई आईसीसी सीईओ हु इज द हेड ऑफ द सीईओ ऑफ द आई आईसीसी सीईओ आईसीसी दिस इज डेविड रिचर्डसन डेविड रिचर्डसन एंड द हेड क्वार्टर इज वेयर यू विल से दुबई एंड रिमेंबर वन थिंग प्रीवियसली रिमेंबर वन थिंग द चेयरमैन द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ प्रेसिडेंट और द चेयरमैन यूज टू बी देयर एज द हेड ऑफ द आईसीसी बट नाउ द पोस्ट ऑफ प्रेसिडेंट एंड चेयरमैन हैज बिन resolved it has been dissolved not resolved dissolved and instead of the president the new nomenclature is their ceo so the present ceo of the icc is the david richardson don't forget his name next important organization is which one it's the fifa next important we are discussing is the fifa this is federation of international football association this is federation of international football association this is fifa federation of international football association and it was founded on 21st may 1904 fifa and remember the headquarter of the fifa is at zurich Switzerland, and one more thing is that the head of the FIFA, the chief of the FIFA, is Gianni Infantino. It is Gianni Infantino. He is also from Portugal. Gianni Infantino is from Portuguese, or is a Portugal. Twenty-first May, nineteen hundred four. Second important, important. Next important is the IOC. this is international international olympic committee this is international olympic committee and this international olympic committee was founded on 23rd june 1894 founded on 23rd june 1894 and remember one thing this ioc is headquartered at losin switzerland this is in losin and losin is the part of switzerland international olympic committee and the head of international olympic committee is thomas back thomas back is basically the headquarter of the which one you will say international olympic committee then we have last one this is fao food and agriculture organization this food and agriculture organization was founded on 16th october 1945 October nineteen forty five, and this is headquartered at Rome. That is in Italy, and the head of the FAO is Jos Graziano. Jos Graziano Graziano da Silva. Da Silva. Jose Graziano da Silva. He is the head of the which one? You will say food and agricultural organization, which we call as FAO. Food and agricultural organization is headed by Jose Graziano da Silva. Then we have OECD, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. Organization for economic 
cooperation and development and this organization for economic cooperation and development was founded on 30th september 1961 13th september 1961 this is headquartered at paris in france and its chief or head is jose enzel guria jose enzel guria he is the head of the organization for economic cooperation and development got it guys so this is all for the international organization thank you so much for watching the class and watching the video i hope it was a beneficial class to all